Okay, uh, so today we will continue with uh, two more non-ohmic conductors. The first one for today is LDR. LDR means a uh, light dependent resistor. It actually works on the concept of the light. And the previous components are mostly linked with the temperature. If the temperature increases, resistance increases in filament. And if temperature increases, so resistance decreases in the thermistor. So these are the concept related to uh, the previous ideas. And next we have LDR and LDR is actually linked with light dependent resistors. And light dependent resistor means it actually depends upon the light and how it depends upon the light. In this, uh, the resistance is inversely proportional to light intensity. Resistance. Is inversely proportional to light intensity and uh, since these two quantities are inversely proportional so if we increase the light intensity so resistance will decrease and if we uh, decrease the light in intensity so resistance will increase so the process is very simple light intensity increases it means resistance decreases And why resistance decrease? We know that there will be greater flow of electrons in a wire. So that's why there will be a greater flow of electrical current or the charges. So this is the idea of uh, the LDR, light dependent resistor. And if we talk about the graphical representation, so graphical representation is again inversely proportional. Walaikum assalam. Okay, so in this, let's suppose if we mark light intensity on x axis. And resistance on y axis. So graphical representation to be like a curved line because it is going to be gradually increase or second quantity will gradually decrease. So 
So this is the graphical representation for LDR. So it is again inversely proportional, but this time we are using the light intensity, not like the temperature or just like the thermistor and filament. Okay, so uh, let's suppose if we use this LDR in the street lights. So basically these are the sensors when light strikes on the surface of the sensor. So it detects the intensity and it will increase or decrease the resistance according to that intensity. So basically if we uh, use this concept uh, in the street lights, so like automatic street lights. So uh, what do you think that how this street lights will work? They have uh, uh, light and day detectors. Yes. So basically in daytime, we have a uh, high light intensity. So definitely there will be less resistance, right? According to the LDR. So according to the LDR, if we are talking about daytime, so in daytime, we have high light intensity. And high intensity means low resistance, low resistance means uh, that a street lamp will uh, turn on or turn off automatically. According to this whole idea about the LDR, so uh, what do you think that? Uh, light will turn on or it will turn off according to this situation. It'll turn on. Okay. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Sorry, no. My bad, my bad. It won't, it won't. Yes, because in daytime, we don't require those street lights. So definitely, they must be turned off automatically in the daytime. Right? So basically, how it actually works, uh, we discussed also uh, somewhere that if you increase the resistance so voltage will also increases right so according to this idea when your less uh, resistance is low so definitely you got low voltage right so when your voltage is low so the requirement of the, that uh, lamp or the requirement for the voltage of them uh, will not fulfill over there. So that's why lamp will turn off automatically in daytime. And if you compare it with the night uh, time, so in night time, we know that the light intensity will automatically decrease because there is no sun and the light intensity will also decreases. So there will be low intensity. Low intensity means high resistance. And high resistance means high voltage. So uh, by using this idea, uh, mostly like in most of the countries, they are using the concept of the street lights automatic that actually based on uh, the LDR and that LDR works with the intensity of the sunlight. So when sunlight is like uh, going to be a decrease, so it starts to turn on according to the voltage, according to the resistance. And when sunlight is going to be increase again, so definitely it is going to be turned off automatically because of change in resistance and change in voltage, right? So basically this is another non-ohmic conductor because it not follows the direct relation with 
just like the ohm's law so it is also called non ohmic conductor and the last uh, non ohmic conductor is diode and diodes are now most commonly used components in our daily life uh, just like if we uh, talk about our daily life example so previously uh, we are using the old bulbs like the red bulbs or orange bulbs which is made up of filament so initially we are using this filament uh, for the light as a bulb in our uh, rooms or in our uh, offices uh yes basically for street lights there are different sensors also uh it is not compulsory that we always use ldrs right but let's suppose if we want to use ldrs on the street lights so it works like this okay because there are uh, multiple applications so if we want to use ldr somewhere uh that based on the light so that's how we discuss that when the light intensity high so how it will react and when light intensity is low so then how it will react okay but it is not compulsory that always there is like ldr connected in automatic street lights so there are different options available for automatic street lights we only discuss if we use ldr so how it works in uh, automatic street lights okay okay uh yes so basically uh, we are talking about the filament like the orange bulbs that we used uh, before the energy savers so in energy savers or like in the new advance uh, technology we have different types of uh, like led lights and different types of decorative type of uh, lighting for houses for offices so in all of these uh, like in rgb lights also we are using diodes if you uh, observe that uh, rgb strip that mostly used for their computer table to just make lightning setup over there so there are very small components connected in the series so that component is called diode in energy savers in circuit of energy savers there are also uh, diodes connected over there so nowadays mostly we are using diodes for the lighting purpose for the sensors and for uh, different other applications um and sir if, yes what are diodes actually uh basically diodes are like semiconductors like it is not completely conductor and it is not completely uh, insulator so basically it depends upon the scenario that how we are going to make or fix that diode in the circuit so we will discuss that how we use that diodes and what are the applications of that diodes according to the setup we are going to do with diodes oh okay so uh, you can see there are different uh, concepts of diode you will find diodes in different forms mostly that uh, led lights so you will find this type of like button or chip type uh, material stick also called diode mostly in led lights we are using this component in uh, like the strips we use mostly for rgb setup so that is strip also consists of diodes so this is the whole idea of the diodes we are using in our daily life in different form but uh, according to the concept that is included in our uh, syllabus so there are two concepts first of all if we talk about the diode so diode will only allow the current to flow in one direction so diode allows current
to flow in one direction. And the electrical symbol for diode is like So uh, this is the circuit diagram or the electrical uh, circuit component for the diode which we are going to make in the circuits if they want to de just detect from the circuit. So this type of diagram uh, indicates you that diode is connected in your circuit. Now, uh, according to the diode, it allows the current to flow in one direction. So basically, there are two types of situation available for the diode the first one is forward biasing or we can say forward biased so basically in forward bias what happens Let's suppose if we consider the diode, so in diode, you can see one uh, end is positive, second one is negative. So let's suppose if you connect the positive end, end of the diode with the positive end of the battery. So positive end is connected to positive terminal of the battery and same negative point is connected to negative terminal of a battery. So it means current starts to flow because your positive is connected with positive, negative is connected with negative. So your circuit will be like this. So this is the diode connected in the circuit. And this is the battery, let's suppose. And also lamp is connected in it. So in this case, we can see positive is connected with the positive side, negative is connected with the negative side. So it means current will easily uh, flow throughout the circuit. So it means diode shows zero resistance. So there will be no actual resistance in diode. So this is the first situation. So this is the first idea of the diode that is forward bias when current is actually going to flow throughout the circuit. And the next idea is related to reversed bias. And in reverse bias, definitely we connect a connections like opposite one, positive with the negative, negative with the positive. So the positive terminal is connected with the negative one. So definitely there will be like opposite connections in the circuit. So there will be no current uh, flow into the circuit. So lamp will remain off. Like if we again consider that diode.
and we just complete out the circuit. And again, it is connected with the lamp. So this lamp in the circuit remains turned off. And reason is very simple because your positive side is connected with the negative and negative side is connected with the positive. So in this situation, there will be no current. And the second point is diode shown in finite resistance. Okay, uh, basically the meaning of this infinite resistance is you can see your lamp is not turned off. It means your circuit is uh, still incomplete. So when your circuit is incomplete, so in that situation, we use the concept of infinite resistance because your circuit is not completed. So definitely you are not able to calculate the resistance of the circuit. So that's why we call infinite resistance. So the idea of infinite resistance is uh, your circuit is incomplete. So uh, this is the idea of the reverse biasing and the forward biasing for the diode. Okay. Any confusion? For infinite resistance means an like incomplete circuit, right? Yes, infinite resistance means because some people think that value might be very high, but value will not be high because lamp is turned off. Actually, it means there is some gap or there is some loop in your circuit. That's why uh, your circuit is not completed. And when circuit is not completed, so we are not able to identify the exact resistance of the circuit. So that's why we use the term infinite resistance. Uh, and the meaning of that infinite resistance is that uh, the whole circuit or the components connected in the circuit are not like completely uh, joined with each other. There is a still some uh, misconnection or gap in your uh, circuit. So that's why it is called infinite resistance. Okay. Okay, sir. So this is the idea of infinite resistance and diode. And uh, in our electricity section, basically, mostly you will get questions from uh, the factor affecting resistance, like the length of the resistance, the cross-sectional area of the resistance. And secondly, we got some questions from Ohm's law, mostly in theoretical. Uh, we got like one mark question, V is equals to IR. And after this, you will find many questions related to the combination of resistance, like series combination, parallel combination of the resistance. We discuss the combinations of the cells, like if we connect cells in parallel, cells in series. So that is a different case. But the combination of resistance is also important. So mostly we will get questions in our past papers, like from the combination of resistance, and they also attach one question of the power, electrical power, electrical energy. So these all terms are going to be included in our practical electricity section. Like uh, chapter wise, if you uh, observe, so these concepts are from practical electricity and these topics are from current electricity in which we discuss about the components, uh, different scenarios that how these components will act. Uh, when current passes through it or temperature changes, resistance changes into it. So these topics are the part of current electricity. 
so next uh, we will continue with the combination of the resistance because after completing that we are able to solve like a uh, multiple question because if we start question or if we start practicing question right now so like we will only solve one part of the question and we skip the second part because we didn't study that one so that's why we are first completing some concepts and then we will start the practicing of the question okay